Hello, my name is William Smith. I'm a technical consultant with Cerna Solutions. Today I will be showing you how you can easily create COE security policies to control access to your HR cases. When using COE security policies, you get all the benefits of now platform security in easy to configure policy rules. COEs, or Centers of Excellence, are tables that allow cases to be grouped by HR departments, where security policy records can then be created to restrict access to HR cases. Groups that are not included will have their access restricted, but we'll get to that in just a moment. This feature is provided as an alternative to ACL rules, and adding COE security makes it simple to control access to your sensitive HR cases and ensures that only the proper groups can view cases that pertain to them. Implementing these security policies takes just a few clicks, and when completed, you'll have peace of mind knowing your HR cases are secure. Oh, and a bonus, only minimal testing is needed. Let's jump over to ServiceNow for a quick demo of how to set one up. The first thing you want to look at when creating COE security policies is to ensure that you're in the HR core scope. I am, so we'll get started. Start by typing COE in the left nav and choosing COE ACL configuration. You can see I don't currently have any security policies set up, so let's create one. I'm gonna create one for our HR employee relations cases as I wanna restrict those to only the employee relations group. I can choose whether I want this to apply to all services or if I only wanna narrow it down to a specific list of services. For now, I'm gonna leave it set to all services. On the right side of the form, there's an active box if you wanna deactivate these in the future and a type that is set to read or write. When the type is read, HR agents cannot read the item being restricted from a list or a form. If I set the type to write, they cannot write to the item being restricted. All the fields are marked as read only. It's similar to failing a write ACL rule where the record is marked as read only. I can add conditions so that I can granularly apply this rule but for now, I'm just gonna leave it alone. I'm gonna go ahead and press save, and you can see the groups list that I was talking about earlier. I'm gonna add our HR employee relations group. And once I press save, and I turn on the rule, that's it, I'm done. Now I'm gonna flip over to one of our HR administrators and show you what it looks like from their perspective. This is Alva. She's an HR administrator in our company. And you can see that prior to adding the COE security policy, she can see all of the disciplinary cases. But when I refresh the screen, all those cases are now gone for Alva. So those cases have been locked down and secured from our HR administrators. COE security policies do not apply to the employee service center. So additional measures will need to be taken to restrict cases in the employee service center. COE security policies will also remove a COE on the HR case creation screen. So that's another good way that you can restrict access. I wanna thank you for watching this video on HR COE security policies presented by Cerna. Like this video and subscribe to our channel for additional HR related content. For more information or to contact us, see the information on the screen. Thank you.